All right, contenders, four box break and a screen share. Everybody in a break. I'm going to copy, go to random, and let's say random uh, seven times. That's two, three, uh, four, five, six, and seven. And Mike, you're at the bottom. Thomas M. at the top. Going to copy. Then we're going to paste into our NFL spreadsheet. Here's your team's. For a four-box break of contenders, Thomas M. Cardinals, Chester Falcons, Eugene P. Ravens, uh, Cody C. Bills, Mark K. Panthers, Steve F. Bears, uh, Nick G. Bengals, Chester Browns, Brent M. Cowboys, Terrence Broncos, Steve F. Lions, Chester Packers, uh, Matthew D. Texas, Lawrence Colts, Mike B. Uh, Jags, Chester Chiefs, Danny A. Dolphins, Chester Vikings, Steve F. Patriots, Chester Saints, Giants, Jets, Jane S, Raiders, Chester Eagles and Steelers, uh, John T, Chargers, Chester 49ers, Mark K, Seahawks, Chester Rams, David S, Bucks, Tim H, Titans, Mike, you got the Redskins. So there you go. If you want to trade teams, go ahead. I'm just going to start laying some packs out so we can go through these pretty quick because we got some more big boxes to break. So we got all kinds of big boxes to break. Oh, I just heard my coffee pot go off, so it looks like I got a coffee. My coffee's done. All right, man. It's going to be one of them long nights. I think we're going to do a lot of stuff. So what the heck, man? I got some coffee going. So hooray for contenders football, man. Good stuff. On contenders. Who has the Bengals or the Packers? The Bengals is Nick G. The Packers is Chester. Chester doesn't like to trade, though. So I don't think you're going to get a trade out of him. He emailed me before. He said, if anybody asks me to trade before the breaks, my answer is no. I said, okay. <laughs> so he said, let them know. I don't like to trade. Yeah, you know, some people, yeah, he's not the first guy. I got a couple of people that don't like to trade. All right. So let's lay these packs out here. So here we go. So, man, piling up these contenders packs over here. Piling these things up. And we pulled a championship ticket in our last four box break of contenders. So we pulled a one on one championship ticket. Wouldn't that be nice if we could get the same thing going, huh? What do you think? Hawk fan, no problem, man. You can sell your team, feel free. So feel free. All right. Got all these things laid out here. Four box break of contenders. All right, man. This is going to be fun. Hopefully we get something else monstrous out of this contender stuff. So you see the great big uh, contenders wall we have right here. Uh, Panthers, yeah, man. There's plenty of tops baseball. Uh, go click under the video feed, and you'll see uh, under the baseball section. You'll see tops uh, baseball. Here is a YouTube link right here. Yeah, it's in the baseball section. If you scroll down. Um, the next box is box number two, Jumbo Tops Series 1, box two is right there. There's the link. All right, so you guys are waiting on uh, some trades and payments, and 
While you guys are trading, hang on real quick. I'm just going to go pour my coffee. And grab my cup of coffee. Hang on. All right, I'm back. So I had to check the snow. Yeah, we got a couple of inches and it's still coming down. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Let me give you the link for the next contender. So did anybody reach a trade? All right, did anybody reach a trade at all? No trades, no sales. Let's do it. All right, so let's do it. Here we go. Let's start off. Let's just pull a pack in the middle for contenders. Let's get started. Man, I've never pulled any autoed U.S. President's cards. I think we pulled some memorabilia, but never an autograph. All right, so we got some base cards. Um, every card gets shipped. Zach Sudfield. And this is going to the Jets, even though he's in a Patriots uniform. It is going to the Jets. That's a playoff. And that is 72 and 99 uh, New York Jets. And that is Chester coming your way. Chester. All right, man. You got five in fantasy breaks. Chester, so it's good to see an auto in the very first pack, huh? Good stuff. And we got a couple of base cards there. So we got a wall of contenders. And GWB, George W. Bush relic from Goodwin. Yeah, I think we did. We pulled some kind of relic of George W. Bush. I can't remember what it was. Maybe it was a shirt or something. Who knows? All right, <clears throat> we got some base cards, touchdown tandems, and some base cards. So let's get through these pretty quick because we got Leaf Ink 15 and Triple Threads Baseball 
on deck, so to speak. And by then, it should be midnight Eastern time. We can open up some of this 2014 Series 1 baseball. And I've got a box of Revenge, the TV show Revenge. I don't know if you guys want to do that, but damn, I'd love to do it. I'll split it with somebody. I'm trying to get some autographs because I'm digging that show, man. That show is pretty good. I hadn't put it up for sale yet, though. Uh oh, here's a Mike James, Tampa Bay Bucks. So we're seeing a lot of Mike James autographs in this stuff here. And this is going out to David S. So David Sims, there you go, man. Uh, you just got five in fantasy breaks <laughs> with a Mike James auto. It's a sticker. But it's still cool. Uh, Chris G, it's a pack designation break. So after the randoms, uh, the guy in the number one spot gets the first pack. The guy in the number two spot gets the second pack. And so on. All right. We got some more. Some base cards, base cards, and base cards there. Good stuff. And let's see some more base cards. All right. Was what was what a variation? Are you talking about the uh, the Mike James? The Mike James was not a variation. If that's the one you're talking about, some base cards here. Some more base. No, it was not a variation. It was the the regular. All right, let's see what else we got. Some basers. So what do you guys think about the design of contenders? I mean, it's pretty much the same. I mean, you think they should give it like a major overhaul next year or what? What do you think about this design? Mike Glennon, uh, Tampa Bay. That's David S. coming your way. He said the design sucks. <laughs> 2011 sucked. Looks better than last year. I mean, it looks similar to last year, doesn't it? Some more base cards and base cards. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it looks a lot like last year's to me. Looks like score. Looks a little scorish. Okay. Monty Ball, Denver Broncos. Terrence coming your way. Speaking of score, I think the score only make money in June, like because they're like the first one to put out a football product. <laughs> like remember this past June, last year in June, score was like the hottest thing going. <laughs> the score stuff had like a thousand cards in the box. It was like the hottest product because it was like the first football product they got put out. And, uh, you know, after about a week, when everything else comes out, they're forgotten. Um, here's a Derek Rogers going to go to the Colts. Um, and this is going to be, who's got the Colts? Uh, Lawrence, coming your way. The reason this goes to the Colts is because in our rules, it states that it doesn't matter what the guy's jersey's wearing. It matters the printed team. That's where it's going to go to. So that, that's why this is going to the Colts. And that's in the rules section. So don't think if you're the Bills guy, Cody C, you got the Bills. Don't think I'm just making up rules on the spot. <clears throat> I know. I know, man. He's ticking. <laughs> everybody, somebody's mad at me every night. <laughs> everybody gets mad, man. All right. Let's see here. Let's see. Now, you, you don't care. You want the EJ manual. That's what you want. Here's a Marlon Brown, Baltimore Ravens. And this is uh, Eugene P. So you just got five. In fantasy breaks, but we haven't seen an on card auto yet out of this box and a couple of base cards. We need to see some kind of on card 
autos coming out of here. We need to see some of those big time. Some of the on carts. All right, some more base cards. And base cards and base cards. All right, so Joe Dog says that Derek's probably a short print. No, I didn't see the stars. There was no stars on the back. I mean, there was stars on the back. See, the Derek Rogers. There's stars on it. So, I didn't think it was a variation. But if you're talking about some other kind of variation or short print. I don't think, didn't they, have they released like some kind of short print list yet? For this contender's. Yeah, the stars means a variation, but then they got they have a short print list that's not confirmed yet. So anybody, when, when are they going to release that? Here's a Saints, Kyrie Robinson, uh, New Orleans Saints, and that is Chester coming your way. So five points going out to Chester. Okay, Panini released a teaser list. Oh, that's cool. I haven't even seen the teaser list. I guess it would behoove me to check that out. All right, let's see here. Uh, some more base cards and base cards. So every single card gets shipped. So if you're putting together the sets of these or something like that, no worries. It's coming out to you. All right, some base cards and base cards. And some more basers. All right, come on. Where's these on card autos at? That's what I want to see. Dying to see these on card autos, right? There's EJ Manual. That's Bills. <clears throat> Cody C. Coming your way, but you don't care about that one. You want the autographed one. That's what you want. <clears throat> Rick says he's going to sleep. I guess he's not a contenders fan. So Rick's going to sleep. Set an alarm clock, Rick, for about 12 minutes from now. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can get. Some base cards. Hey, Rick, you know, I'm not the biggest contenders fan myself. One thing, the, the thing I like about contenders is the extremely high resale value. That's exciting. <clears throat> Any one of these cracked ice autos are huge. And we did pull a one-on-one championship ticket. So, yeah, I was not a fan of contenders, but after seeing some of the stuff we pulled, now I'm kind of, you know, now I'm kind of getting on board with the stuff. So, that's the thing. Some base cards and base cards on contenders. <clears throat> All right, let's see what else. Drew Brees, Alfred Morris, Miles Austin. He said hits are rare in this contender stuff. Yep, here's a Vance McDonald hit. Speaking of hits, and that's an on-card playoff ticket. A five of 99 49ers. And that is Chester coming your way. So Chester, you got it, man. Five points. Fantasy breaks coming out to Chester. And a couple of base cards here to ship out. <laughs> Steve said rare. Uh, there's six autos per box. <laughs> and then Rick says six autos and there's only one good one. <laughs> and a couple of base cards here. Johnny cards. Which championship ticket was it? It was Aaron Maletti for the Ravens. So Aaron Maletti for the Ravens was our championship ticket. I forgot who pulled it. I'm sure they'll put it on Twitter when they get it. Um, Corderell Patterson, Vikings. And wow, that's an on-card playoff ticket. So that's uh, 51-99 Vikings. 
And that is Chester. Coming your way, Chester. Five points fantasy breaks. And a couple of base cards here. All right. And let me see here. <laughs> Rick said that's a case. Hit. Come on, Rick. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping to see a cracked ice <clears throat> coming up here shortly. Somebody asked, what is a cracked ice? Uh, it's an autograph card that is a refractor that kind of looks like cracked ice. I'll show you one here in a minute when we pull it. I'll show you what they look like. A couple of base cards here. And a couple more uh, base cards and base cards and base cards. All right. Lynchpin says, I don't think they have to be autoed. You know, I can't, I haven't seen one that wasn't autoed. So maybe they do have them that aren't autoed, but I personally haven't seen a cracked ice that hasn't been autoed. But hey, man, maybe they got them. And here's a playoff. And this is a Tory Smith. This is 19. Of 99 Ravens. It's a non-auto. And that is Eugene P. Coming your way. So that's cool. Uh, playoff ticket. Non-autoed. Couple of base cards. Okay. So the veteran cracked ice are non-autos. Okay. Well, there you go. Thank you for the education. I had no idea. Couple of base cards there. And then if you're digging this contenders, I got eight boxes of this case left. We'll see if we get some kind of case hit in here. And if not, you know it's going to be in this case somewhere. All right, some more uh, base cards and base cards. Um, I'll have to look. On the revenge in a minute. I can't imagine how they would not have, you know, a couple hits in the box. But I'll have to look on the box in a minute and see. I mean, I'm about to open that thing up my damn self. <laughs> Just because I love the show and I want to see what autos are in there. Oh, it's a TV show. Here's a Ryan Griffin, a Saints, New Orleans Saints. Um, Chester coming your way again. Chester, five and fantasy breaks coming out to Mr. Chester. There you go. A couple of base cards there. So now I can move some of these to the middle here and start uh, condensing these, which is great. And my monitors just went black from lack of me moving the mouse, so I just had to get them back there. Heck yeah, man. I'd be I'd be I'd split it with you. I'll try to see if we can get it box breaking though. Oh, David C said the bigger stars didn't sign autos for for revenge. Are you serious? Uh Houston Texans uh short print. Or excuse me, not a short print, it's a variation because there's no star. So before I get pitchforked, let me retract that statement. It's not a short print. It's a variation. Alan Bonner, Houston Texans. Uh, Matthew D. Uh, you just got five in fantasy breaks. All right. Yeah, I got Horrors of War. I got it. I'm trying to get it moving. Cho80. What's up, man? How you doing? All right. Somebody just pulled a Leaf Sports here. It's one one Ivan Koloff. How awesome is that? That's good stuff. A couple of base cards here. Heck yeah, man. If it's that cheap, I'll do it. Carter fan says he's falling asleep. Set an alarm clock, man. Set your alarm. I'm just doing what sells out, buddy. 
Here we go right here. Um, Timothy Wright, Tampa Bay Bucks variation. This is David S. Five points of fantasy breaks. David S., you're in for five. All right, a couple of base cards here. How many box break is this? It was four boxes, and we're getting down to it. What you see left on the table is what's left of a four box break. Those are all base cards. And that pack doesn't want to open as easy, so I had to outsmart it and open it from another direction. All right, we got some more base cards. We got a Tampa Bay Bucks. Jonathan Banks auto right here. This is David Sims. And wow, there's your cracked ice auto right there. So that's going to be huge. Um, these cracked ice autos, man, these are so expensive. 7 to 21. I think the Vance McDonald cracked ice auto was like 150 bucks with some days left on it. So, I mean, these are huge. These cracked ice autos. And this is David S. Uh, you got five in Fantasy Breaks, man. Congrats. That's what you want to see is those cracked ice autos. A couple of base cards there. And let's see what else we can pull out of this thing. All right. Did we pull a Richard Sherman auto? I don't think we did, did we? We pulled a Richard Sherman auto out of this before. Okay, we did. All right. Those those are going for big money, aren't they? I mean, those are big money. The Richard Sherman autos out of this stuff. A couple of base cards there. And let's see what else. How much is the Richard Sherman autos going for? $100 minimum? Okay. The Shermanator. All right, we got a couple of more base cards. Couple of basers here. And let's see what else we can pull out of this thing. Here's a Cowboys Gavin Escobar variation. And this is Brent coming your way, man. Gavin Escobar playoff twenty nine and ninety nine on card auto playoffs. Are you kidding me? All right, Brent. Uh, you just got five in fantasy breaks and a couple of basers there. And some more base cards. So you're a big Richard Sherman fan then, huh? Kyle. Alright, so it looks like $150 on the Shermans. Is that what it is now? Here's an Andre Ellington variation. Cardinals Thomas M. Uh, you just got five in Fantasy Breaks. Thomas M. That's a playoff ticket. Wow, lots of playoff tickets on card right there. This one is not numbered. How can it not be numbered? The playoff ticket. Thought that one would have been numbered. Maybe that's a short print. Who knows? All right. And a couple of base cards here. So let me clear off some of my desk here before I do the rest of these packs. Let me put these cards in a nice safe Place here. So I'm seeing a, a few people going for Seattle in the Super Bowl. What you guys, Seattle or Denver? Uh, yeah, it was not numbered. So somebody said that's an error if it's not numbered. Sounds good to me. 
All right. So Vol fan says he's going for Denver. You know, I think I might pull for Seattle. I love Peyton Manning. Now, why is this turned backwards? Gavin Escobar, Kristen Michael. Boy, wouldn't that be great if this was dual auto? Oh, wow. That's the first one I've seen of those. I mean, that's a beast right there. It's 21 of 25. The dual auto. Gavin Escobar, Kristen Michael, dual. And this is going to go between a Brent with the Cowboys and Mark K with the Seahawks. So we're going to go to random.org and settle that one after the break. A couple of base cars. Hood hit. That's what Carter fan said. That's a hood hit. Oh, good hit. <laughs> Damn those auto types, huh? <laughs> Let's put a hood on the hit. That's a hood hit. All right. Couple of base cards here. MVP. Some more base cards to ship. He's <laughs> set on 51. Are, are you my? Are you the most elderly gentleman here? Is anybody older than fifty-one? I'm thirty-nine. How old's everybody? A couple of base cards here to ship out. I think most of the guys in here are all over thirty. I think for the most part, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-four. Okay, so we got some under thirty guys. Here's some base cards. Forty, fifty, forty-three. Okay, so and yeah, we got a bunch of uh, a bunch of older gentlemen in here. Tuna said, "I'm three weeks into my thirties." <laughs> oh man! All right, we got some base cards here. Robert Woods. Bills and some more base cards. And Robert Woods going to Cody. I love Robert Woods. Yeah, man. I got uh, eight more boxes out of this case. So I got two more four box breaks. You can go to friendlyboxbreaks.com and search the word contenders. And it'll pull this up so you'll be able to see the next uh, four box break of contenders. Yeah, uh, Chris G is exactly right. Once you hit about 36, you stop giving a shit. That's exactly... Ain't that the truth? All right, let me see. We got a redemption here. Let's see who it is. Come on. Autofocus. Justin Hunter, Rookie Inc. That's a Titans. That's Tim H. Coming your way, man. Tim H and a couple of base cars. Let me put a, a Tim H sticky on that one Tim H alright got a sticky on that one for you alright so let's see what else we can muster up here Geno Smith and we got Leaf Ink Football and Triple Threads Baseball coming up And here's a Ray Graham variation. Houston Texans, Matthew D, a cracked ice. Look at that. Wow. This is 17 of 21. So we got another cracked ice. Wow, man. That's awesome. Five points fantasy breaks coming your way. A couple of base cards. Man, that's awesome to see. That's great, man. This could be a loaded case here. So we got some base cards and some base cards. So let's see. That'd be great, man, if we got a hot case. All right, let's see what else is in this thing. Some more base cards to ship. I want to see another cracked ice <laughs> come out of here. That's what I want to see. 
Seven cracked ice in one case, man. Well, we got two so far. So, man, I'm ready to see some more. Is there Cam Newton autos in this? Man, I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. Anybody know if there's Cam Newton autos in this? Couple of base cards there. All right. Or Russell Wilson. Here's a Tavares King Denver Broncos auto. This is Terrence coming your way. It's a playoff ticket. 83 and 99. Lots of playoff tickets. This is awesome. And Terrence coming your way, man. Five in fantasy breaks. Coming out to you. Couple of base cards. And let's see what else we got here. Here's another auto. This is your boy Manti Teo. No stars. Variation Chargers on card. Manti Teo. This is John T. Coming your way. You just got five in fantasy breaks. John T. Couple of base cards there. <laughs> and let's see here a couple of base cards a couple of base cards alright he <laughs> said the girlfriend jokes are so burnt out <laughs> yeah, every time we pull a day out somebody makes a girlfriend joke <laughs> alright a couple of base cards Fishing for booms. Yeah, man, I got uh, two more four-box breaks of contenders. Um, these are all base cards here. If you go to friendlyboxbreaks.com, search contenders, you'll be able to pull it up. And we got 45 minutes away from opening up uh, Tops Jumbo Baseball Series 1 Midnight Release Party. Here's a redemption. Zach Stacy. Now, that's cool. That's a Rams. Chester, five coming your way for Chester, man. That's awesome, dude. Um, yeah, he's uh, he's huge right now, Zach Stacy. Yeah, that is a good one to have. I think he's pretty much taken over Daryl Richardson's job. A couple of base cards, and Daryl Richardson took it over. Well, I guess he didn't take it over. Uh you know, and injury Jackson left. Um, I thought the job was going to go to who's the other guy that was slated to get the job. I drafted him in fantasy football dynasty league. The oh, who was it? The uh, the other Rams running back. Nah, it wasn't. Yes, Isaiah Peed. Yep. Now he's the guy that everybody thought was going to just run in there and take over. But man, that guy hadn't even. He hasn't done anything. Here's an Eddie Lacy that's numbered. 22 and 99. Green Bay Packers. Chester coming your way. A couple of base cards there. Let me clean up what I have so far on my desk real quick. And let me see here. All right. He peed the bed. That's pretty much what happened, man. I guess he couldn't. I guess he couldn't hang, you know. I had, uh, you know, high hopes for Mr. Peed. But, you know, for him, I guess it wasn't meant to be. So far. I mean, but who knows? He could have had, like, some personal problems or some kind of injury. Time will tell. I'm I'm just not sold on Sam Bradford for the Rams. I, I love Jeff Fisher being there, but I'm just not a Sam Bradford guy, really. I don't know why. I mean, there's something about it. I can't put my finger on it. I'm just not. I don't. I mean, he's decent, but I don't think he's the guy that's going to put you over the top. I mean, is it just me? Am I wrong? Or what? I mean, am I just not looking at things clearly? 
as far as Sam Bradford goes, we got a bunch of base cards here to ship. Yeah, he has a deer in the headlights look every time he plays. <laughs> SL Jock. He said, my voice so soothing. Why do people say that? Um, Kiko Alonzo, Buffalo Bills. Um, nah, I don't have a headset on. I don't use a headset. This is Kiko Alonzo. This is Cody C. Uh, you got five in Fantasy Breaks. All right, coming out to you. Now, I just use a good, uh, I got a professional microphone set up. So that's why. That's why. All right, some base cards here. Yeah, thanks for the compliment, though. Appreciate it. So here we go. Let's do it. Let's see what else we got here. Some more base cards and base cards and base cards. So, man, we need to pull another hit out of here, right? Here we go. Some more basers. Anything nasty been pulled? Yeah, man, this right here is pretty nasty that got pulled. It's going to have to go to random. Gavin Escobar, Kristen Michael Duel Auto. Yeah, man, that's the only way to do it is to ship out the base. You got to do it. People want to put the sets together. You know, I personally, I wouldn't buy into a box break unless the guy shipped the base because I, I like the fun of this stuff is set building. Here's a 63 and 99 Carolina Panthers touchdown tandems. Cam Newton, Steve Smith, Mark K coming your way wow 98% of breakers don't that's crazy I guess that's why I have to hire that's why I have three employees in my shipping department because we gotta do so much sorting because we ship out the base cards um, Zach Dysert here Denver Broncos and that is uh, Terrence R coming your way Terrence Five points fantasy breaks. How did they get away with... Oh, they say they donate them. Yeah, right. <laughs> when I start donating base cards, which I will, I'm going to set up a, a base card donation thing, but I'm going to set it up to where you can call and verify it. Here's a Marcus Lattimore. Please let this be audited. Look at this. Oh, wow. It is awesome, man. Look at that. Man. That's awesome. Marcus Lattimore, um, San Francisco 49ers, Chester, coming your way, man. That's a beauty. That's on card. Wow, that's nice, man. So five points for Chester in Fantasy Breaks. Man, this case we got, this thing's loaded with good stuff. Yeah, I mean, this case is loaded. And let's see, Keenan Allen, who I'd love to see a Keenan Allen auto come out of here. He's so hot right now. Um, how long do I think it'll be till the next four boxer starts? Uh, whenever it sells out. We got a lot of stuff to open, too. Uh, Matt Barkley, Eagles. And that's another on card. I think he has one of the prettier autos I've ever seen. Something about his auto. I'd PC him just for his auto. I mean, look at that thing. I mean, man, I love his autograph. I mean, have you ever seen like a prettier <clears throat> auto than that? I mean, that's awesome. And this is Chester coming your way, buddy. Chester with five and fantasy breaks. He said it looks like a mustache. It looks like Arabic or something, you know? I mean, it's nice. Nice looking auto there. Matt Barkley. Yeah, Popeye, I agree, man. No, when I set it up to donate some base cards, I'll I'll set it up for one of the charity I really like, and I'll set it up to where you can see. I like to be transparent. Le'Veon Bell, Steelers, Chester, coming your way. A couple of base cards. <laughs> he said, I'm going to get Chester to buy all four boxes. 
So you could just ship them. <laughs> Couple of base cards there. And let's see what else we got. So we're getting down to the last few packs of uh, contenders here. The first four box break of contenders. A couple of packs left. And we're going to have to go to random.org and duke it out for this Kristen Michael Gavin Escobar card. So Cody says, I think we're done with autos. Let's see if we can't get another auto Cody. Let's see, man. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Some base cards. And base cards. All right. So no autos there. So Cody might be right. Man, we got three packs left. Let's see. Three left. Let's see what we got. All right. And two packs left. So come on. What kind of bees produce milk? <laughs> Not a clue, man. Is this a joke? I couldn't tell you what kind of bees produce milk. All right. Last pack. Right here. Oh, boobies. Okay, I get it. Gotcha. <laughs> There's an auto. Kobe Hamilton, Cincinnati Bengals, Nick G coming your way. So, Nick G, there you go, man. Uh, you just got five in fantasy breaks with a Kobe Hamilton auto and a couple base cards to round out the box. Now, the last thing we got to do, yeah, May, this has been a loaded case. Huge. Uh, we're going to random this off right here. It's numbered uh, 21 to 25, Gavin Escobar, Kristen Michael, dual auto. So this is going to go between Brent M. and Mark K. So Brent M. and Mark K. All right, so let's go to random. We're going to hit random seven times. Guy in the number one spot after seven gets a card. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Brent M. Congrats, man. Coming your way, Brent. You got it. Brent M. And you got five in fantasy breaks. Brent. Yeah, that's a nice, good-looking card, man. So congrats to you, Brent. And let me get this one on YouTube here. 